Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're kicking into a good weekend. I like this. A three-day weekend, too, by the way. And it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everyone out there, man. <laughs> Assume nothing. Don't make assumptions. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think. And we don't have and we don't have to say what we want. We assume they're going to do what we want because they know what we're thinking. If they don't if they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and then we say, "How could you do that? You should know." Bottom line, don't make assumptions, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 100, 800. Nasdaq's down 479. S&Ps are off 33. Gold contract trading up 33 dollars at 18.52 an ounce. We have silver up 49 cents, 21 dollars 99 cents an ounce. Platinum up 20 bucks, 9.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 248, 117 dollars and 79 cents an ounce. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note. Up 23 ticks, trading 115.28. The 30 year up a full point, plus six ticks at 133.19. And King Dollar. King Dollar's uh, taken uh, to the woodshed out here. Both time. Uh, bottom line, down 1,500 ticks, 103.643. The euro out here is trading at a price point of uh, 105. The yen is out here at 132. And the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you get a down market. We have an ABC structure in the way down. That, you know, has been happening. No, it's just, you know, you take out the B point. We blew that B point away with volume. We did that on the 13th, okay? Now what you're facing is that you get a, an ABC inside an ABC. And I can tell you, uh, bottom line, I've been doing this for quite some time, and when you get an ABC structure inside an ABC, your probabilities go up a lot higher that you're going to reach the first price projection. So first price projection on the SPY is at a price point of the uh, 3.35, okay? Um, when we take a look at the, the smaller one, it's 3.37. So what you have happening here, 3.83, one second, put. Whoops. So, bottom line is that if we go take a look at where we are, this is the, this 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 we there's plenty of equities that are down at these levels. This is where this market wants to go, and you know we'll see whether you know at this point the, the problem is, of course, is that that's only a one to one. But bottom line is that 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 number, the three thirty five, that's going to be the highs or the lows. Three uh, three thirteen is the high of the low. It's going to go test the high of the low. That's how this thing is shaking out. So. Um, NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. You get the same type of setup inside the NDX. Uh, bottom line is that this NDX out here, where are we? There we are. So you get the NDX trading out right now at uh, 271. This structure here, you can see it's taken out of the B point out today. It's already taken it out. Um, it only needs another million shares for another ABC structure on the way down. And in this one here, so you got this, the smaller one, the A point is uh, 314.56. You got your B point down there, which is the low of, uh, what day is today? It was low of Tuesday. So that's uh, 273.33, gets you a 41A to B. Uh, your C point is the high from yesterday, which is at 286, 286.33 which you get you 245. So what you have here is that, let me see, where, where did I have this other one? 222, there is 222 and 245. Yeah, it's pretty intense. So you have an a, a small ABC down to uh, 245. You have the, the, the small one is inside the larger one. And you put this up, you're gonna see you're, you're basically at the same place, man. Yeah, 219, 219 is the high, it's the low. And something to remember, okay, is that ABC structures, the A to B is a straight line move. The C to D normally goes all over the place, okay? 
Um, you know, what we did with the C to D on the um, monthly basis, we did trade sideways for two months and then blew right by it again. Bottom line is that that's where we're going. <laughs> Uh, gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at gold. This is going to get kind of intriguing here, watching to see if we can get some follow through on gold. You know, what we've had many times is that, you know, you get these false breaks, you know, you get strength in them that pulls back, strength in them pulls back. Uh, bottom line, that's on the shorter term basis. The longer term basis, gold has a beautiful setup. I mean, uh, the bottom line is that when you take a look at this, what you're going to see on a much larger basis that you're going to see that we only did, watch this, I'm going to take this all the way because when you see this, it's pretty impressive. So I'm bringing this back, bottom line, I'm bringing it back 30 years just so you can see how it flattened out, you know, the bottom line. This was at the beginning, you know, that lows when gold was bouncing around 250, did that for like 10 years, then started taking off in 2002, okay? So you had the accumulation at lows with light volume. You start taking off, the volume expands dramatically. You pull back, and we did pull back, you pull back with light volume, we take off again. Now watch this. This is the one that I want you to see because this is pretty amazing. And if we bring this back to, I'm just gonna do it on a 10 year now. What you're gonna see is that the last retracement, you know, yeah, this is the longer term deal, but the last retracement, was only a 0 0.382 retracement in the marketplace. There you go, it's a 0 0.382 retracement. So more than likely you have an ABC structure on the way up. This is where patience uh, is, is a big deal. There's no two ways about that. And uh, we'll see, we'll see if this uh, can baby uh, get this baby here. There's no, there's no two ways about it. And if we go take a look at the dollar, what you have with the dollar right now is this, is you take a look at the dollar, the dollar basically gave it up in spades, and that's going to be about uh, the British pound out here today, because I think what they, on GB, what evidently the market figured is that they wouldn't go up on rates at all, and the Bank of England did. Yeah, that's the move. And the Bank of England did, and... Uh, you know, they haven't gone up in a long period of time, so they are on board with higher rates also. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, down uh, 750, uh, NASDAQ down 470, S&P's down 129.